Are you ready for the race war? I'm not. Tom McDonald is seeing it happening right now. 1.5 million views in its first weekend. Trending on top YouTube music. Tom, take it away. It's okay to be racist. As long as you hate on the Caucasians. Teaching white kids that their shades the same as school shooters and rapists. Maybe I'm tripping because the white children have been getting taught that they got white privilege by the white guys in the high heels who identify as the white women. I'm not proud to be white, but I'm fine with it because I'm not allowed to have pride in it because the colonizers and the white biggest made white history my business. I ain't never going to give a damn if you like me. I ain't going to trip when they stereotype me. I'm a white boy and a white boy like me knows that all lives matter. Bite me. When I'm going to pause there. When people talk about racist, they j it's just anti-white. The phrase itself is a term of anti-white racism because they say that you can't be racist against white people. So it is okay to be racist as long as you uh, only hate white people. That's pretty racist, but correct. And uh, then he says, I'm not proud to be white, but I'm fine with it. We're not allowed to have pride in it. And you know, pride goes before destruction, a haughty spirit before a fall, but pride is the excessive love of oneself. One is supposed to have a proper love of oneself. And it does raise the question, why can one not be proud in some way of one's heritage? And when you dig into the white people broadly, you know, you say, are you proud to be an Italian? Oh, yeah, the Italians have a ton of ethnic pride. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to ride this rigatoni into the sky. But the more Anglo, the more wasp, the kind of whiter one goes, German, certainly you're not allowed to, uh, then, then, you're, then you're not. So it's, it's very incoherent. It seems very haphazard. Okay, keep going. When I was younger, they taught me to never see color, to treat every man as if he was my brother. But now that we're grown up, we hate one another for all of the ways that we struggle and suffer. They come in for blood and we run it for cover. The government wants us divided and dumber, addicted and drunk in the gutter. So we never wake up and never recover. Call me culture vulture because I rap good. I don't pop stands and smoke backwoods. But they call me a wigger and label me Hitler and hate like I'm wearing a clan hood. It ain't left or right or black or white. It's good and evil. I leave folks hate normal people. United we stand and divided we fall. America, we gotta get real. You were segregated. That was not fair. You were enslaved. They did not care. But you were never on a plan. Such parents. That prejudice you inherited was racism from your parents. Get that poison out your veins. Whites and blacks are all the same. They want us in our graves. Just let me try to explain. I swear they want us in a race for dying every day for whose lives matter more. Put a pause there. That's true. The libs obviously do encourage race war. I think there is a way to overstate this though which is they're saying, look, if not for the liberals constantly cooking up racial tensions, there wouldn't be racial tensions at all. And that's not true. There have always been racial tensions. When you put people from different ethnic and racial groups together, there is always some kind of tension. Even take race out of it for a second. When you put different groups who have any distinctions together, religious distinctions, cultural distinctions, any there there are tensions. And so the, the liberals play on that. The liberals love inflaming those tensions. You know, when I say the liberals and that guy, I'm talking about the leftist liberals. They love that. But the more right-wing liberals or the more moderate liberals, they ignore the fact that that's a political problem at all. And they do that to the detriment of all of us. Because if you want to live in a good, flourishing political society, you've got to accept political realities. And if you know that you're going to have lots of different peoples from lots of different backgrounds together, then you have to take special care to do the sorts of things that will mitigate the natural tensions that exist by the mixing of peoples. One side is is doing the really evil stuff of making the tensions worse, and the other side is, is ignoring the, the political issue all around. And what's the consequence of that? The consequence is increasing prospect of the race war that Tom's singing about. Believe all this is true. True, I feel no white guilt. They don't lie for me when I'm killed. I guess white lies don't matter. 
explain I swear they want us in a race for Dying every day for Whose lives matter more Whoa. I won't be dying in the race for Our government is paid for Cause our lives matter more Whoa. They want us in a race war Dying in the streets should be us against them But it's you against me Ain't nobody gonna win Everybody gonna see That the color of your skin Don't change the color that you bleed I swear they want us in a race for Dying every day for Whose lives matter I like the observation, which is that the libs, the, the ruling class wants us to be at each other's throats over race. And they obviously stir up these tensions and it's cynical and it does give them more power. And sure, that's, that's all true. The question that the song doesn't answer is how are they able to do that? What are the tensions that the liberal ruling class inflames? Uh, and that's the part that I think needs to be answered. And some uh, uncharitable people will say, well, it's because the races and different ethnicities and different groups, they're just all so entirely distinct that they're always gonna be at each other's throats. And those kinds of opinions are going to fester so long as nobody is able to actually talk about the, the political reality that any time you have distinctions between groups of people, you're going to have to come up with some political solution to accommodate those things and to assimilate the different groups. But it's, it's insufficient simply to say, well, you know, there's only one race, the human race, and underneath we're all bleeding red, because at a spiritual level, that is true. There is neither Jew nor Greek nor male nor female, but all are one in Christ Jesus. But at the level of politics in this fallen world, there are distinctions between groups, and there are hostilities that sometimes develop from those distinctions. And so we've got to see the political problem and try to, to mitigate those issues, or we're going to end up in the place that Tom says. He doesn't want to go, and then none of us want to go. All right, that's our show. I'm Michael Knowles. This is the Michael Knowles Show. See you tomorrow. You can try to burn down the city. Scream at the top of your lungs till you're dizzy. You can cancel everything and everybody in it. But it's not your America. You can burn the flag, get aggressive. You can wear a mask and pretend you're progressive. I got my first amendment, don't forget I got the second. It's not your America.